I, I agree. We're, I'm a property owner. I, I live in Los Angeles, but I'm also from the Valley. But I, I own apartment buildings. And they walk on your property. They defecate. They turn their head. They go, well, they're not cordial or nice. You know, no one and you're right, they have no boundaries. It's become a lifestyle. They're sleeping everywhere. I mean, this is ridiculous. And then the, gut, the city, like he said, 300000 to clean a, a portable toilet, 500000 to spend for an apartment unit to house. I mean, the government is so not in touch with what's really going on. Um, we, one of them should say, bring back law and order. It's getting worse. What do you think the solution is? Bring back law and order. Or is there a solution? I think the solution. Is, is creating boundaries that if they want to live in their lifestyle, that they should be getting up at six in the morning. They should clean up after themselves, store them, store their stuff somewhere, and be designated on where to sleep. That that they can they can maintain it in a clean, sanitary way. He's right. Kids can't walk after where the encampments are. I mean, there's so many diseases. You can't even if you ask someone. They're so belligerent. Can you leave my property? They are so belligerent. You don't want to get in a fight with them. I mean, and then our rights, we have more rights than the police. So if you mace them, I'm going to be on trial for for, for what? I, I mean, it, it, and you try to improve. We, we're in the biggest economic boom, right? I mean, the, I mean, the West Coast is in a huge economic boom. Why, why is it okay for them to go steal $930 and get a ticket? We're legalized marijuana. I don't give a shit whether you legalize all drugs. No Empty out the prisons and let the people who go. just can't obey the basic rules. And this is basic stuff. Say yes, she wants to.